Hello, welcome back to my garage. Today we've got another wee job we're going to do in the garage and this time it's going to be on the, the Bonneville which is one of the first videos I've done of actually making a wee modification to this bike. Uh, today we're going to fit this unit here, this little wiring loom extension and what that basically is, it's a, a Motone H4 headlight module battery saver and safe start. What is it all about? Let me tell you. It's a plug and play headlight module. It fits inside the headlight shell, allowing you to turn on the bike ignition without having the headlight come on as well. Meaning that you no longer have to suffer the battery drain before you have the engine started. Fitting this module can make the difference between riding home or having to call a recovery vehicle. This is especially true on 2009 to 2016 EFI bikes, where a slight drop in voltage, which can be between 0.1 volt below the threshold, will not allow you to start the bike thanks to the CAN bus system. The module is super simple to fit. It plugs in between the, the wiring loom and the headlight and uses a standard H4 connector and it takes about five minutes to fit. Basically, one of the problems with uh, the EFI model, uh, early EFI Bonnevilles, was sometimes difficult is starting if the battery was low. Uh, and one of the factors involving this was when you be turning the ignition on, the first thing that happens is the headlight comes on and there's nothing you can do about it because you can't switch the headlight off. Modern legislation means you've got to run with the headlight on, which is sensible, I have no objection to that. Um, even the likes of the, the modern, the new Enfield, if you turn the ignition on, the side lights come on, but there's no headlight, and the headlight doesn't come on until you fire the bike up. And then the headlight comes up. And that's what happens with most modern bikes, and that's basically to, to save a huge power draw. Because you're sitting with this headlight, you're sitting a 55, 60 watt bulb, so it's a lot of power. Um, I don't know if anybody follows uh, Freddie Dobbs, who's a, quite a a YouTuber who runs a Bonneville. And for a long time, he had trouble starting his Bonneville. And what he would tend to do is to take the side cover off or, or, and get into the starter solenoid, and he would short the solenoid out with a, a screwdriver, and the bike would fire up. And you think, see yourself, well, that's weird. You think if the bike can start that way, there's obviously nothing wrong with the battery. In the end, he bought a brand new battery for his bike, and it seemed to um, cure the problems. So uh, I, I reckon what was happening with his bike was that the battery potentially wasn't brilliant in the bike, but there was enough power in the battery to turn the engine over and start it. But it was the ECU that was being basically stopping that, actually, the solenoid activating and starting the bike. And the, one of the reasons behind that is when you switch the power on, you've got a huge draw coming from the headlight. And that is why they, on the modern ones, they don't allow that to come on. So this plugging in this wee harness, that eliminates that happening. So what we're going to do is to basically fit this wee Motone um, headlight and harness into the bike. So what we have to do is to basically remove the headlight shell to get into the, the wiring in the back there. So the first thing we'll do is, we'll, with this one, we'll take off the windscreen, remove the two screws, which secure the headlight shell on. Let's open up the headlight unit and unplug the H4 connector at the back of the headlight. You can just let that rest down there, it'll be fine. Or what I'll actually do is take it off at the moment. Just unplug the, the side light bulb. So what this basically unit does is it has a connector which goes into where the headlight bulb came out of and it basically then has a connector at this side which goes into the headlight and there was a wee electronic box of tricks sitting in here which makes the whole thing work so the idea basically is to quite simple get the headlight connector and plug this connection in and then basically tuck away 
the module as best you can inside the headlight shell. Just tuck it, the, these that unit away in to the back, out of the way. So that's fine. So clearing the centre for the, the new H headlight connector and the side light. So that should now go back in. It's as simple as that. And if we get the headlight again, plug this wee side light back in, plug in the headlight H4 connector, that's that in, and basically position the headlight shell and put this and refit the screws. So that's it, that's it now basically fitted in. It's as simple as that. So now, if we turn on the ignition, the headlight is off. So now we'll be able to start the bike without having to draw any, any power draw from the headlight. Unlike the, the Enfield though, which if, once you start the engine, the headlight automatically comes on. It doesn't happen with this module. What, you then, what you've got to do is either flick out the main beam and off again. So now you can see the headlight's working fine. The headlight will now stay on indefinitely. Or what you can also do, if I turn back the ignition off and back on again, there's the wee headlight flasher. You can hit the headlight flasher once and, it'll come, and that'll come on. So it doesn't, the headlight doesn't come on automatically. You've got to manually put it back on again. So yeah, I think that works really rather well. Uh, the only other bit is if you actually have the headlight, if the headlight is left in the main beam setting when you turn the ignition off and you turn the light on, the ignition on, it, it, the headlight will come on because it, 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 it recognises what activates the wee module inside, the wee smart module is getting power from the main beam setting. So it basically has to be, when you turn the bike off, if you're on dip setting and not on main beam, then it will work perfectly. So by, again, so by going onto main beam, that activates it and that keeps it on. Stick the windscreen back on and that's it. Job done. And when they say it was a five minute job, potentially it is a five minute job. It takes longer to film it than it does to fit the module itself. Anyway, some of you may have noticed another wee addition to the Bonneville. It's my new logo stickers. I've had a few made up. Uh, to advertise the channel, Tiger Nest channel on YouTube. Uh, so if you see some of my bikes running around with a wee sticker on it, feel free, come up and say hello. It'd be great to meet up with some of you guys. Anyway, for now, hope you've enjoyed the channel. If so, click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon and all that jazz and sub subscribe to the channel and hopefully you'll follow my future videos. Uh, at the moment, we'll try and put one out every week. Um, it's not so easy in the winter time, but uh, spring's not far away now. You can see it's just around the corner and we'll get out properly riding the bikes. So for now, take care, ride safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye.